In the studios of 94.3 Radio 1, so, so, so pleased and honoured to meet, of course, Clinton Sereho after a really long time and Bianca Gomes for the very first time. So happy to be here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for coming by, you guys. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, so happy Thank to be here. Thanks for having us. Okay, now the two of them are called Shore Police. What's with that name, first of all? <laughs> Do you like the name? Um, I'm somewhere in between. I'm on the fence with the name. <laughs> okay. okay, so what don't you like about it? Let's start there. I think sure, because police I'm okay with. <laughs> so I'm like, sure, okay. Maybe that's because you are thinking of, you know, a, a name that's uh, that's all binding. It's not just uh, stuck to an international sort of genre of music, but you also have Indian music coming into play. So Shore Police right. is very catchy that way. Yes, yes. That I have to give uh, it to. Right. Because of course yeah. it comes from Chor Police, ah. right? Which we all love to play when we were kids. Yeah. And uh, the name was coined thanks to Clint's wife, Dominique. Yes, yeah, she's really? our official, yeah. yes, the namer. <laughs> yeah. oh, actually, she uh, she came up with the name Anantal as well, yes. which was with oh. Vijay Prakash, the, the, the band that we were part of. Cause uh -huh. Uh, you know, I mean, it, it was just uh, something. It was like more a coined word. So yeah. this time we we thought we'd ask her when we were we kind of uh, forming Shore Police, and she actually came up with it, and we really thought it stuck. It, because there was something about it because I think Shore is. I mean, obviously yes. we we all know yes. Shore is noise, yeah. and uh, yeah. So because of the pun on Shore Police, and because how much how much fun kind of it brings back uh, memories of just correct, fun as a, correct, as a correct, kid or whatever. You were intending to actually put out yes, there through yes, music, through your it, music. Yeah. At the end of the interview we'll ask you what you think, who you think is sure and who's police. Oh <laughs> wow, suddenly yeah. we just shifted gears here and also places, <laughs> Bianca's taken over, she's going to throw a question at me. I can't wait for this. This will be my last interview with Annie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for this, I, I'm loving this already. But uh, tell me the beginnings of uh, Sure Police. I mean. You know, I was telling Bianca a little while ago, Clinton, I did tell you too. When I heard your music, whether it's Monopoly Money, whether it's Light It Up, all the videos, it was bringing back so many of my childhood memories, the early 90s. It was so much fun to watch these videos all over again. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy to hear you say that because that's exactly the kind of feelings we were hoping to evoke with people. <laughs> So is it, is it because of the COVID uh, times you think that, you know, people have kind of gone back to their roots or gone back in time to kind of bring back some memories that they felt they've, they've lost out on or forgotten about? Was that the thought? Uh, actually, I think the old sound has been slowly seeping into yeah. top 40 music over yeah. the last, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think, eight years or so, eight to ten years, yeah. with uh, a lot of artists like Bruno Mars and Charlie Puth. Yeah. They've yeah. all brought the funk back. And uh, we were just sort of, we've been writing, I mean, since uh, these songs, even before uh, COVID. Right. So, right, Clint, these are songs that we started uh, writing yeah, maybe about like five years ago. Some two of years them. ago, oh. yeah. yeah. Some of them were given four or five years ago. Yeah. So, right. actually, we, we kind of, uh, I mean, because you said uh, you want to know why, why should police yeah. to begin with? Yeah. Uh, you know, I think that for me personally, as a composer, being, being a composer for like many years. Yes, um, yes. Uh, You've given I, us some of the biggest indie uh, film hits. Yeah. You've yeah, sung I, I, some of the uh, very big indie yeah, films. Right. No, so, that, so that's the thing for me. I, I just felt that, uh, uh, you know, after Coke Studio, ah. I, was, I kind of got into a very fusion kind of box in a sense where people really uh, also did, I also did Jugni after that. And while yeah. I was, I'm really extremely proud of those albums. I'm not, you know, uh, nothing to take away from all the work that I did with Coke Studio and, yeah. uh, you know, etc. I was always a pop guy as well, you know, <laughs> and it's just kind of something that people forgot to some extent. So I kind of got a little bored of only being asked to do fusion projects and, uh -huh. you know, somewhere kind of uh, stuff that involves, uh, you know, world music Correct. kind of conceptual ideas. And uh, I just felt also in that process when we were working on the Anantar album, Bianca was not doing much of the writing at that point, but yeah. she was coming to the studio a lot and we were kind of just you know solidifying ideas and stuff and that's when it kind of struck me that she's got such a different songwriting perspective from my own and uh, it was very current it was very uh, you know something that I had kind of put on the back burner in my own uh, you know th songwriting ethos for a while so mm. I just thought it was so refreshing to me the ideas that she was bringing to the table every time that I like, said you know what let's like, explore writing together and that's how Shore Police was born. That was the genesis of the idea. And then it kind of started snowballing in a way, you know. 
like uh, it's been snowballing in uh, in, a, in a sense because we I mean we just did uh, for example we did one song on Bob Biswas and then that producer actually gave us three films after that to first wow. to work on as a duo. Wow! So it's become <laughs> well uh, done. You know, it's kind of become like a thing that's taken on a you know a energy of its own. Yeah, I so think. cool. You know what calls for a song? Highlight through the window as I get out of bed, heading for the coffee machine just to clear my mind. Wondering why I believe what you said when I knew when you said you had me hypnotized. It's been a long road, destination nowhere. Keeping up appearances while everyone stares. They got no clue they've been living on the ground. All I did was try to justify these. It's me like a boxer's punch. Should've seen it through. Push it when I had a hunch. Don't wanna get through. Wanna be your free lunch. Cause I see it now, yeah, I see it now, now, now. Your love is like Monopoly money. I ain't buying it, buying it, no more honey. All we had was a joke that ain't funny. I ain't buying it, your love is Monopoly money. Woo! <laughs> The kind of music that you are coming up with now, and the kind of love that you're receiving for this music, tell me a little bit about that. I mean, are people coming back to you and saying that, oh my God, we 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 wanted this kind of music to come, yeah. and it hadn't happened, and now you're bringing it to us. So thank you for that. Yeah, you know the thing is, as show police, we have been so busy working on so many different projects. I mean, we loved everything we did with Nexa. Right. That was English music, but aside from that, we did a lot of mashups, which were uh, Bollywood and English international hits. Right. But uh, we realized that we. We didn't really dedicate enough uh, time to doing our own English originals, so that was nice. really, really important to us. And yeah. it's not like we've not been writing English music; <laughs> we've been writing, but we've been so busy doing the Bollywood stuff, which we really enjoyed doing, of sure. course. But and concerts and all of that stuff, I and mean, you know how it is yeah. for live musicians; they just get caught up with uh, the whole sure. tours and all of that stuff that you don't really dedicate that time to mm. what you love doing best, mm. which is writing and composing. Mm. So uh, we decided that these songs. Songs could not be shelved any longer. People <laughs> needed to hear them, and you know, people are people were saying, "Where was all this? All this time?" Yeah, I mean, really. You know, so I'm having fun. I'm happy that they're doing it. That's fun. that's amazing, and also, I mean, there's a larger, uh, uh, you know, plan. Uh, okay, yeah. We're really happy. Like we made this announcement on our social media a couple of months ago that yeah. we've uh, signed a sub-publishing deal. We've we've set up a, a publishing. Uh, Company called Sure Please Publishing. Nice. And we signed a sub-publishing <laughs> deal with a, a company called Real Music Works, based in LA. Uh -huh. uh, and they are like a full-service um, independent rights management and licensing uh, uh, company. And they've de done some amazing sync deals with, like, for Guardians of the Galaxy, oh. Spider-Man: Homecoming, nice. the assassination of Gianni Versace, that kind of uh, you know, like pedigree of projects that they work on. Okay, I've got a quick fire round. The last segment. Okay. Just simple. Yeah. Questions that I'll throw. If you have to pick between fifty countries to visit, going to the moon or going to the beach, what would you oh. pick? The tricky and one. Why? How did you know <laughs> that I was such a beach bum? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you would tell. A country that has some of the best beaches. But yeah. I don't know. Which ones have you been to already? Uh, strangely, some of the best places that I've been to uh, aren't beach places like Japan Ooh. and uh, <laughs> and Italy. I haven't been to the, the the side where the beaches are, oh. you know. But uh, you Senegal, 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 Senegal yeah. yeah, I know. But I love Italy. I think it's one of my favorite places. Definitely yes. for the architecture. Yes. Why not, Clinton? For me, it would be going to the moon for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. You want to go and suspend yourself first in gravity and then land I, on the moon. I mean, moon I would love. I would all. love that. I would just love. Like and set up shore police there. Be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you be able to sing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, just the idea of having an otherworldly experience. Yeah. 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 That is something else. I think I would also maybe. Yeah, that would be your choice. Just pick yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. For once. Yeah. For sure. I'll pick the. I'll pick the pasta. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if um, there's anything annoying that you find in a person, what is it? Oh, um, <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> no, because there's a lot that we find annoying about each other, right? <laughs> okay, then well, that's that a good really thing she didn't ask about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, she didn't ask that. She didn't ask that. You can't take it back now. Uh, about 
Um, maybe people that are late, I think, and don't apologize. Sorry, I would kind of was slightly late for this, <laughs> but we did apologize. Uh, but yeah, people that just kind of take your time for granted, I think. Mm. I, mm. It's really this annoying. Is what one of your songs was all about. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but also those people that kind of just suddenly park in the middle of the road and yeah. don't care about who's behind them. Yeah. And just, yeah, I hate those people. Oh, yeah. okay, Clint. Uh, I, I can't handle when... Uh, interns especially like people that come to apply for uh, a job Jobs. at the groove room mm. like for example at my studio uh, just act like they know everything on the first day or the first Ooh. second day or they, they all they want so all they are all they want to do is like tell you how much they actually know when I mean, all they should be doing at that point is just listening and just observing and trying to like just you know learn a the next more. time anybody is going for a job and tell yeah. you to clean yeah. this you better mark this. I was just going to say, there's <laughs> going to be a significant decrease in applications at, to the group room after this interview. <laughs> well, uh, speaking of being a morning or uh, an evening person. My God, evening. Yeah. I'm sure. Just cannot yeah, wake up. <laughs> cannot wake up in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I'm a late night person. Actually. No. I sleep at like 4, 4.35. My evening is late night. Yeah. Ooh. That's morning. Oh my yeah. God. So that's my normal, that's my normal, I, I crash around 4, 4, 4 30, sometimes 5. I love that time in the night where you can just do, yeah, you can just, just learn, or peace. you can just. Is it know? that you love that time, or you're an insomniac? <laughs> you have no choice. I happen to be an insomniac. Happen to that's be different. <laughs> but that's that's a different story. But even otherwise, uh, uh, I, 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 I do enjoy the, you know, that time to be creative. Yeah, yeah, that is that is said to be the most creative time, anyways. Is what they say when you have all the peace around you. Yes. <laughs> well, speaking of two of the things that you've. Uh, you know, carried all your life. Maybe your p something your parents told you, or something you picked up along the way. Two things that always keep coming back to you. Okay, I think one has to be uh, a work ethic that I think I learned from my father, but just by observance. It wasn't wasn't something he ever said. So just the, his dedication, mm. and uh, I think their faith in God would be the second. Mm. The something that uh, you know was something that I picked up more by uh, observance than anything else. And then your own personal experience, I'm sure. Yeah. Damn, that that came later, but yeah, <laughs> this would be the two things, I think. Yeah. Nice. Bianca, what do you would um, always fall back on? Two I things. think uh, the fact that my mom and dad were always so supportive of, mm. of my talent and my career, and every time I... I feel like I doubt myself or I feel insecure as an artist. I always think of their belief in me right. and it sort of uh, comes back to me and it helps me and it inspires me to keep going. So that's really important to me. And strangely, it is also uh, a bit of it is work ethic. My dad was, was really uh, my, things like punctuality yeah. or, you know, respecting people, mm. uh, being kind to people, all of that stuff, being generous. I, I got all that stuff from him, I think. Uh, or at least I strive to be a little bit like, <laughs> like him. How oh, sweet. <laughs> okay, now, uh, one last question for both of you. Uh, looking into the future, a lot of them are striving really hard. Many of them make it, many of them don't. You guys have, you know, been very grateful for where you are today yeah. because of your own talents, which is top notch, and then also to the levels that you are here today. What is a message you'd like to give out to everyone who's probably lost and don't know where to go? When it comes to music, Bianca? Uh, it is a tough industry. You have to know that and you have to go in with your eyes open, I mm. think. You know, really uh, brace yourself for that. Brace yourself for a lot of struggle, but also uh, your skill as an artist mm. will pay off. Mm. Uh, learning the ropes, knowing how to do things, not um, depending only on... I know how important social media is these days. <laughs> it is important, but it isn't everything. Correct. And I think your talent is really going to shine through uh, at the end of it all. Right, Clint. Yeah, I would say uh, just arm yourself with all the knowledge you possibly can, mm. because when you're in the thick of work, you don't want to have time to right. do that. So when you when you're like getting into the industry and you have time, that's the time to you know spend less time on Instagram, trying to you know build yourself as an say so-called influencer. I mean, if you want to be an influencer, fine, <laughs> then probably that's the route. But if you want to be a serious musician, mm. then just put your phone down and just constant in music I would say right. I, mean, I mean I think you use social media as a vehicle to Correct. promote your talent but you have to have that first yes right? so yes yeah. all right I think it's very very clear you've got to you've got to keep skilling yourself upskilling yourself 
and you've got to have faith in what you can bring to the table right. which is what Clint and Bianca have been doing and through Shore Police oh my god it's just something else altogether thank you so much for gracing us oh, thank you Annie view. for having for us yeah, thanks for having us it's <laughs> been such a pleasure really. amazing thank you Clinton and Bianca Shore Police on Afternoons with Annie this is 94.3 DD1 back to music 94.3 Radio 1